Baylor Scott and White Health announced it will lay off more than 1,000 employees across the entire health care system. Officials citing financial impacts because of the coronavirus. Fox 4's Stephen Dial has more for us. Stephen. Heather, Baylor Scott and White Health officials saying that the financial impacts from the coronavirus is leading them to furlough some employees and ultimately lay off more than 1,200 other employees. For weeks, Governor Abbott ordered a hold on elective and non-emergency medical procedures to prepare hospitals for handling a possible surge in COVID-19 cases and conserve masks, gowns, and other PPE. Now hospitals and private practices are feeling the impact. When you're trying to get 50% of your hospital available uh, for possible COVID patients, that's a lot of income lost to the hospital, a lot of work for nurses, for physicians, for other health care workers not to be doing at the time. Dr. Diana Fight is the president of the Texas Medical Association. She says because Texans did a good job initially of staying at home, the coronavirus peak in Texas was not as bad on the health care system as some feared. But putting elective procedures on hold is having a big impact. Baylor Scott and White Health shocked many in the medical community. The not-for-profit hospital system says it will reduce 3% of his workforce, meaning about 1,200 people will be laid off. Some will be furloughed, the hospital system said in a statement Tuesday, quote, now as early data is revealing the significant economic implications of the pandemic on Texans and the operational and financial implications on our health system, we are implementing changes to remain prepared and able to adapt and continued unpredictability. It's very, very labor intensive. Mike Davis is an economics professor at SMU. So if you have a crisis like this in, in, a, in a financial system, the, the only way that, that the hospitals can deal with this is to lay off people and cut back on pay. He says layoffs are more bad news for the Texas Unemployment Office. The Texas Medical Association recently surveyed more than 1,500 physicians about the impact of the pandemic and state orders on private practices. The survey found a large number of patient visits decreased. As a result, 63% of physicians reported their revenue decreased by half or more. If there is a bit of a surge again, we should be able to handle things. Again, Texans did a great job, but, but in the meantime, now we've got this consequence of um, not enough business for a lot of the physicians. One thing Dr. Fight said was a positive from this whole coronavirus pandemic is that it highlighted the sure need of PPE and other supplies in the state of Texas and around the country. She says, unfortunately, again, because of the coronavirus, it's going to result in more impacts to hospitals and private practices. Heather.